This is it. We are live. We are fantastical. It is amazing. And you are going to be so thrilled that we're here in your home this evening. You ready? Let's go. Why not? Welcome back, Cocktail crazy, Crazies, to the mad meandering of mixology that we call Drinks with David. We apologize for the interruption last night. There were technical difficulties in the middle of our preparing a fabulous drink. But not to worry. No alcohol was wasted. <laughs> we finished up the drink and finished it anyways, but we're going to repeat it tonight because quite frankly, it was delicious. So we are continuing tequila Lollapalooza week where all our drinks have a tequila base. And tonight we're going to try and actually finish showing you how to make a Tijuana taxi. So there you go. As you can see, it's quite an elaborate drink, has many ingredients. So, what is in a Tijuana taxi, you might ask? And I might actually tell you. It's a variation on a sidecar. So, the ingredients are tequila, lemon juice, orange juice, Cointreau, simple syrup, and a lemon twist. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. And we were commenting last night that we might actually have a show to explore the difference between the various orange flavored liqueurs that go into these drinks because you have Grand Marnier, you have Cointreau, and you have Triple Sec. And while we have had many drinks with those in them, I never think we've examined what's the difference between the drinks. So Perhaps a tasting party is in I order. Think, I think a episode of comparing these uh, is in order. So anyways, on to the drink. This is one made in the shaker, like so many of our drinks. So let's start by putting some ice into our ever trusty shaker. Seems like enough. And we're going to start with tequila. Did my husband, act, did, uh, Larry, did you actually open it yet? The, Larry, the, the stage crew did uh, not sure. open it. So we're only doing one drink tonight. So we're going to start with two ounces of tequila. Freshly opened bottle. And now we're going to have one ounce of lemon juice, freshly squeezed by Larry. The production crew was quite busy. <laughs> they just rush about and get everything just perfect. Like busy little elves. Little, busy little elves. They're just cocktail elves if I ever saw them. Okay, and then we're going to have one ounce of orange juice. Not freshly squeezed, but tasty nonetheless. So here we go with one ounce of orange juice. And then we're going to have one ounce of Cointreau. My goodness. There's a lot going on in this cocktail. There's a lot going on in this cocktail. It is hump week, though. You need something really bold to get you through the middle of the week. Okay. And this exactly fits the bill. Because we already had two last night. <laughs> yes. So this has been thoroughly pre-tested by your, by your ups. And then lastly, almost lastly, we're going to do a half an ounce of simple syrup. A tiny touch of sweetness. And now we have to do the Barefoot Contessa dictated 30 seconds. So here we go. And Larry is going to keep time for us. And when we have reached the magic 30 seconds, he will tell me to stop. Either that or when my hand starts to develop frostbite, I will also stop. 15 seconds to go. Oh, wow. I know, it's a long time. But, you know, I think we have discovered as we've been doing these cocktails that you really do need to do it long enough to get enough liquid off of the ice in order to have the perfect pour. You're good to go, sir. So, and I think that's the theory of the extended shake. Because actually, it probably gets pretty close to the cold time. So let's go in for the pour, Larry. Now, it looks like there's something on the rim of that glass. Yes, this is being poured into a cocktail glass that has been rimmed with lemon and sugar. Yum. Yes, it is quite delicious. As you can see, almost perfect. Perfect Wednesday pour. Mm -hmm. And we're not done yet. Wait, there's more. If you order now, no. <laughs> Do I get a Ginsu knife? <laughs> Ginsu knife. So, 
So you're gonna do a lemon twist. Again, you twist it enough to get some of the lemon essence out of it and into our glass. Now, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Beautiful yellow. <clears throat> and now for the taste. That's a fine, fine, fine drink. Mm -hmm. We had commented our Monday drink we weren't that impressed by. This more than makes up for it. Absolutely delicious. You can taste the lemon, you can taste the orange juice. The Cointreau gives it an additional orange spike to it. And then you have a beautiful tequila lying underneath. Mm. So I could have more than one of these. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I highly recommend it. Uh, again, sorry for the mix up last night, but I hope tonight made up for it. Try this soon. It's delicious. Good night.